Yo, what is going on everybody? It's me, Mr. Prems. And with us recently getting the 73 page one shot chapter and the strong inclination that Bleach will return, I thought to take a look at some of the things we could expect to see in this new upcoming arc, which depending on who you ask, will be called How From The Jewels Of Hell arc. All using the Viz translation, that final panel on that one shot, new breathes from hell. But whatever you want to call it, I am certainly hype and thought what better way to share my excitement than discussing 5 Bankai that haven't been revealed in the manga yet. And these Bankai we could potentially see in this new arc. But before I get started of course, please make sure you leave a like on the video as it helps so much getting this video put out in front of people just like yourselves. And make sure you subscribe to the channel as now that we have Bleach back, you don't want to miss out when I drop more Bleach videos just like this. But you know what, let's forget about all of those formalities and let's take a look at these individuals. And to start off with, I've got to go with the beautiful and best girl, Yuroichi. And I'm not really going to explain the questions of does she even have a Zanpakuto because I'm sure there's loads of videos on that on YouTube. And if anyone does want me to cover that and explain it in a separate video, I certainly can. But for the purposes of this video, I think Kubo needs to show us Yurichi's Bankai. She's a former 2nd division captain and therefore it is known that she possesses a Zanpakuto. And she most definitely has a chief Bankai too. But it just so happens that she doesn't use it and relies exclusively on Hoho and Hakuda. But during flashbacks in the story, we have seen her holding her chief Zanpakuto in the past and therefore it would be interesting for us to see her return in this hell arc and if we get the opportunity to see her shikai and then even her bankai that would definitely be something that i'm looking forward to seeing the second bankai i will look forward to seeing is probably a little bit more controversial as it is shinji harako's bankai and before you all go slaughtering me the reason i say this is controversial is because i know that his bankai has been revealed in the novels and it is named Reversed Evil 8 Treasure Barrier or Blockade. But personally, I would just love to see Shinji's Bankai as part of the main story and not the novels. I understand that having a Bankai which is complete reversal is really not good to have around allies. And also I understand the fact that it was revealed that his Bankai has been banned due to being too powerful. But what I don't recall seeing is the actual design of his Bankai nor what it actually does and so why couldn't Kuba reveal this in the canon story right here? I understand that this Bankai doesn't work well alongside his allies but why couldn't Shinji find himself in a scenario similar to Captain Kiyoraku and in a one on one fight show off his Bankai? That would truly be exciting for me. The third Bankai I think we could see revealed is another one of the Visards and it's Love Aikawa. Now I'm pretty sure there's not as much hype surrounding Love, however I think it's key to highlight that he was too previously a captain, and he was the captain of the 7th division, and as I mentioned before, every captain does have a Bankai, and therefore it would only make sense that Love would have one too. Now whether Kubo brings Love back into the story is a whole different question within itself, however if we do get to see him, alongside the threats we're facing coming from hell, I think it would be cool to see his Bankai reveal too. The fourth Bankai I think we could see in this new arc is that of Kurosaki Ishin's and I don't think that comes as a shock to anyone because Ishin too was a former captain and if I'm not wrong I think it was the 10th division and we found this all significant information and detail during the flashback in the Thousand Year Blood War arc where Ichigo had to understand who he was and where his power stemmed from. And thinking about this, I really would probably like to do a video on Ichigo, the perfect hybrid. But Ishin, being his father, seemed to have been overshadowed by Ichigo himself throughout all of Bleach thus far. But one thing we can deduce is that Ishin is indeed strong. We've seen his Shikai under the command burn, and even seen him use Getsuga Tensho against Aizen. And talking about Getsuga Tensho, he provides Ichigo with the time to learn the final Getsuga Tensho, showing how clued up he really is. 
and he's not the childish father that he pretends to be. But I guess the real thing to mention is during his encounter with Aizen, Aizen stated that Ishin's Bankai puts considerable strain on his body and given the fact that he was severely injured at the time, it would be too unstable for him to use. Therefore I think it's safe to assume that his Bankai is indeed powerful and given his grandson Kazui could be in the forefront of this new hell art, could Kubo have Ishin reveal his Bankai to come to his grandson's aid? I think that could be really really cool. The fifth Bankai which could be revealed and that we could see is of course Aizen. And I know what most of you are already thinking, this is just definitely not going to happen. Aizen has surpassed that of a Shinigami after combining himself with the Hogyoku. But as strong as Aizen is and as powerful as his Rietsu is, we have seen Aizen use his Zanpakuto on many occasions. In fact, his Shikai is one of the most, if not the most dangerous Shikais in my personal opinion as its hypnosis ability literally granted all the captains useless in the Arankar and the fake Karakura Town arc. In the Thousand Year Blood War arc, Aizen brought out his Zanpakuto in his clash with Yuha and it even was significant in supporting Ichigo attack Yuha. And so now with the reveal that Aizen's whereabouts are now unknown, could we see Aizen return to the story to meet the Hell King and unleash his Bankai on him? Who knows? But those are my picks for the 5 Bankais that we could see shown in this new arc. And honestly, when thinking about this video, it was really difficult for me to choose because it's made me realise how many other Bankais are out there that we didn't get to see. With Ukataki definitely being a major one. We saw him referenced towards the end of the chapter as he impales Sailor Pora with his sword. But whether he will be friend or foe is yet to be revealed. There are other Bankais which I was going to put on this list, such as the members of Squad Zero, who we clearly did not get to see their Bankais and I would have expected that they would definitely have some powerful Bankai as well. There are also those who might have grown over the time skip, such as Kira and Yumichika, who I would not be shocked if they had both developed a Bankai too. And I guess I could even add Hisagi to that mix as well. But let me know what you all think. Do you think that I got my list correct or do you think I missed out on anyone? Let me know what your top 5 lists are down in the comments. And if you think your list is better than mine, also let me know too. And as usual, if you've made it this far in the video, that's really dope. And clearly I must have done something right. So please make sure you leave a like on the video as it helps me out so much. And make sure you subscribe to the channel because as I mentioned before, I'll definitely be bringing you guys and girls bleach content on a regular basis. Say.